Team Bella and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Miranda Jo and I am here with a plan with me in my dashboard layout. Um, so before we get started, I always like to show um, the previous week after the pin. So this is how I use my planner with that very, very cute pink and green um, spread from last week, which is really the current week, <laughs> the 11th through the 17th. Um, so if you are new here, I would like to say welcome to the channel. Um, I would be so honored and happy to have you join Team Bella. And if you are original OG member of Team Bella, uh, welcome. What's up? How y'all doing? I hope everything is good. Okay, so we are going to jump right into it, guys, and get this week of December 18th through the 24th all planned out. I cannot even believe, and that is my Alexa. I don't know what she's doing. But anyway, <laughs> I cannot believe that like we are literally days away from the end of 2023. So as I jump into this video, of course, I already have my stickers pre-pulled and we're going to just get right to it. But um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to do th three things for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let me share with you the sticker books that I use to pull the spread together. So I use the Mojo Jojo Plans Jewel Tone Boxes. I use Handwritten Plans um, by The Happy Planner for some of the scripts. And then I use this new sticker book called um, Pressed and Painted. And I'm so excited to use it. I love the color scheme. Um, I just think it's going to be super, super, super cute. And I'm excited to share it. Um, I'm grabbing one more sticker book. But I'm going to see if I'm going to use it. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I want to use it. But it's another. And I may use it because it's got a lot of like the lavenders and the color schemes that I'm looking for. Hand letter basics. So I will let you know if I use those. Okay, so we have our stickers on wax paper and I'm gonna grab this white out. And guys, I did pick up the new Kelleva plan, the little tweezers with her cute little logo there on the end is super cute. Um, so I'll be using those to pull up the stickers and let's get to it. Here are the stickers that I have pulled. So I'm excited. So we are going to, we're gonna start on the right side of the page. Like, I just feel like sometimes it's just worth it to just switch things up a bit. So, yeah, let's do it. Let us do it. Okay. So, I, I'm hoping that I remember I did, I laid this out a couple of days ago. I'm just trying to be a bit proactive so that, you know, it doesn't take me like forever to lay a spread down because sometimes when I put the stickers and just pull stickers, it takes me a minute to pull it together. I prefer to kind of lay it out exactly how I have it in my mind because for me that is much easier to um, to get on paper. But I really like the shape of these stickers for a couple of reasons. I do like that they're shaded here. So it's almost like a box is layered there, like right on top of that like kind of squoval. Um, squoval sticker um i thought this purple because and i'll show you one of the inspiration okay well we're not going what we're not going to do today i'm gonna have to talk to the stickers because sometimes you have to just talk to your stickers so they will lay down correctly because we know i will lay a, a sticker crooked okay i think that's still rather crooked but it is what it is um, I just want to put some of these purple um, elements on here and um, just make it do what it does. Okay, so one of the things that I had was I really like this sticker and I'm going to be using um, one on the other side as well. But y'all know how I like to stretch these stickers and cut them up. So this week is no different. We're going to cut this sticker up and we're going to place it on different places in our spread. So I just love this entire aesthetic. Like the colors are so doggone cute. And I just want to, you know, make sure that I carry them 
throughout um, throughout the spread. So we are definitely going to use, and I'm cutting this one in half as well. So I'm cutting this one this way. And I wanna put part of one right here. Oops, kind of in the center, because we don't have any going in the center. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry about that. And then this one is gonna go towards the edge of the page. Okay. All right. I'm gonna straighten this one up. So I hope everyone um, has had a great week. Um, my week has been very interesting um, to say the least, but um, for those who have been following me for a while, you guys know that I um, tragically lost my father um, in the late summer. And um, so the family, you know, just as a whole, we totally have been trying to, you know, fight back and, and, and get some normalcy. My parents were married for almost 50 years. So for my mother, that's definitely been, you know, easier said than done. But I'm just like, she came to visit me this weekend and we had such a good time. She is so silly and she's laughing and really, really like enjoying herself. And I'm telling you, that makes me so very, 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 very happy because... You know, you can imagine, you know, well, maybe you can't, but sometimes I just can't even fathom, like, what would I do if I had a partner that I was married to for almost 50 years and then he's just gone from this earth? He, cease, he ceases to exist. That is, ugh, that's heavy. That's real heavy. And so with that being said, um, you know, I, I tried to encourage her. Um, she got to a point where she really didn't want to even really travel out of her home, her, uh, you know, our home, our hometown. But it was so amazing when she said, oh, I'm coming down for the weekend. And so, uh, I mean, she's been dancing, putting on old school music like uh like James Brown. She was playing James Brown. Get up off of that thing. And I'm talking about. For her to be 70 years old, that lady was, was moving and grooving. She, she was dropping it, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. The lady was dropping it, but she was laughing. And I think it was the most beautiful sound to me because, you know, we've been so sad and definitely, you know, missing our big guy. But just to see her kind of, you know... Just embracing it, embracing life. And, you know, she just seems so vibrant and full of life. And, you know, that is just, I'm just so happy. So very happy. So I'm having a wonderful weekend. I know that, you know, little things are thrown off a little bit, of course, like my filming. And, you know, I had plans to, um, I've been really trying to step up my presence. Um, you know, on my Facebook and Instagram and, you know, by posting more and things and such. And, you know, I really was able to just put that on the back burner and just enjoy my mother. And it's such a, that's just such a beautiful thing to me, guys. It's just such a beautiful thing to me. So, um, I'm putting these, I feel like I can write on those with white pins. Um, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting all our little elements on the page. I think I'm going to cut this one up. And um, I'm going to add one to down here. And then one up here. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling this. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm going to grab these tweezers. Get some of these other smaller ones um, off of the page. Just want to bring in the, like the pops of gold. We need them everywhere. So we are going to do that. We're going to show enough, bring them in. Bring them out, bring them out. Should we put this one over here? Yes. Okay. Now what I am seeing, okay, this one doesn't have a pop of gold over here. And we're going to add a pop of gold right here on the corner. Okay. Um... I still have this one sticker and I really want to use it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna bring it here. 
I don't think that's a bad thing. They don't have to all be the same. Now, let's see. And I'm putting these things, payment, pickup, or some things that I need to do on Monday. On Thursday, I've got to do some organizing. I'm off on Thursday, so. And it makes sense for me to put this plan sticker here. I'm gonna put it, I want it to go right there. And this coffee sticker, y'all, I drink coffee on a daily, so. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm feeling it. It looks good. I look fly. I look good. I just don't like this part. I think I'm going to um, chop that off with an exacto knife. Let's see. See if I can just cut. Just cut that part off. Let's we'll see if it's, it's going to come up. All right. Yes, it did. And I needed it to. Okay. I'm going to fix this one because this is hanging off and I don't want to cut off the TH. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move it where I have that coffee. I'm going to kind of move this in that area. I think it'll look better and then I don't have to trim any part of it off of the page. So let me straighten that out. Let's grab coffee, which we can still have coffee, but we're gonna put this up here. Keep up the great work. I'm gonna try to line it up like so, like that. Yes, I'm here for that. Okay, and see, we can still put the coffee as a matter of fact, we can put the coffee on Wednesday. Well, I'm gonna put the coffee on Thursday because someone told me a little rumor that afternoon on Thursdays for the remainder of the month of December that Starbucks has coffee for 50% off. The caveat and the catch is that you have to tell them and remind them they're not just gonna voluntarily give you the 50% off even though that's what they're running. So if you ask for it on Thursdays after 12 p.m. your local time, this is supposed to be a thing. Okay, guys. Now we are getting ready to do something. This is like, this shape is so different and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is where I'm actually putting my kind of grocery list this week. So I am excited to use a different shape sticker. It's like shaped like a flower, kind of, right? And then here's where we're gonna put our word shopping. And then we're gonna bring in some more of the, um, the gold here. Loving it. Okay. And then this right here, I'm gonna put it here, shopping. Okay. Now this part right here, is where we can I typically like have to do's so I'm definitely gonna put that there and we are going to layer nope we're gonna bring one of these up here okay we're actually going to layer it over there perfect and then I'm going to get this cute little I don't know if it's a moth or a butterfly but we're gonna also put that up in here I thought that would be really cute. And then I wanted to bring a pop of gold. So we're gonna take that sticker and layer it right there. Now, let's plan out this bottom corner because for me, the bottom corner, I wanted to add these cute florals right here, starting with this larger one and letting them kind of angle their way down so i'm going to pull it up so i can sit it straight and hopefully i am in frame here or i'm going to have to pull them apart i'm going to pull them apart so i can get this one laid correctly okay all right and then see these are so much smaller so i wanted to bring this one there bring this one up till we can lay that one down and yeah it's working out just the way i wanted to but 
I just couldn't bring it all up as one sticker. Okay. Then I seen this really, really cute um, sticker that said, bloom where you're planted. And I thought that was appropriate because we have those little plants right there. So I wanted to put that right there. See, it made so much sense. Okay, then I wanted to add these, I don't know, they're like, like explosions, like bam. And maybe we should put this up in this area and not put that down there and let that area just be for deco. But I like it. I'm liking this. And then we're using all our colors, which makes my little heart happy when it comes to being able to coordinate our coordinate. You got the coordinate your spread. All right, and we're gonna put this little butterfly, we're gonna put him going this way to kind of mirror what we have going there. Now, I also have this sticker, and I was thinking, you know, as I was cutting the other one, we could probably do something very similar. So we could do this, and I was thinking we could put one piece of it over here in this area. Okay, come on. Should I stick down right and straight? All right, and then I was thinking that we can come up in this area and put that there, right? And then of course, this needs a header. So we can put a header over here, okay? Um, I don't know. I feel like I should use everything here that I have on the page. Um, this says shopping list and I want to put that like that. I do have something that I need to get scheduled for next week. So I'm going to put this here. Um, and then I have one more. I'm going to layer this purple one probably up here and put the word painted in it. I know it's kind of like a lot of purple there. But we already have purple down here, and I didn't want that to seem so cluttered. So I think if I put it here, we will be doing amazing. Okay, paint it. Okay. Oh, guys, I love this. And I mean, it's, I know it's winter and everybody's doing holiday spreads and everything, but I really like this change of scenery. I'm excited. I'm off next Thursday. I'm going to work a half a day on Friday, and then I'm done with work for the remainder of the year. I'm on, a, I'm on call a little bit just in case of any emergency situations, but for the most part, I am off. So I'm looking forward to relaxing. Um, tell me below, do you have any upcoming um, time off that you will be taking off from work? All right, guys, well, that does complete the plan with me. If you enjoyed it, please remember the three things, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Ciao, Bela.